So, it's circumference and the sword in the cone. This should be amusing. One thing that I noticed in this circumference episode here is that it's kind of weird and clunky and kooky at the same time too. Because if you look closely, there's lots of things that seem to be going on in this part too. The circumferences and the sword and the cones. It's talked about three-dimensional 3D objects this episode. However, this circumference adventure does have a little twist in the tail. Basically, this guy... Radius decides that he wants to help his friend Vertex in the top five knights contest to uh, go against the other four top knights who, if ever finds the uh, King Arthur's sword and caliber, will become the next king when King Arthur cannot be king. Like, for causes, sickness, or like, temp there will be a temporary king, uh, death, there will be permanent king. At least for the rest of your life. And so I guess that's what worked. And then they get, they are only given this clue. Form the solids and find their places. How many edges, points, and faces? Jace that makes you will pass the test. But one that is not must be your quest. Three times as tall as its base is wide. True king's future lies inside. So this is basically what happens. This can't work because it does not have an edge. This makes two. This doesn't make sense because doesn't work because they are don't have edges this will work and this will work too this will work too this won't work because it doesn't have edges this will work too this will work too this will work too and this will work too so you're either going to go for this or this a cone or a cylinder and so they decide to check both of them. And actually, this is where it gets starts to get interesting. They go to these guys, Geo and Sim of Metri. So I guess you can get what that's going to say. Metri. So it's geometry and symmetry. So, I guess that sort of works. And, oh, here it comes. Fee. And I'm carving this weapon, and I'm carving this weapon. All right, what about this? Fee. Selected weapon. Now, go smash someone. No. Okay. And that seems to work out well. And then, finally, finally, they... Just Start using these plaster to actually start making these little shapes and stuff too. Because they use plaster to make these cylinders, cones and stuff. And they eventually find out this little pattern. There are flat faces plus the core. Plus the points minus the straight edges. You always get two. Whether it's a cube, a pyramid, a rectangular prism or a triangular prism. But it doesn't work for cylinders and cones. Because they don't have edges. They don't have corner points. And eventually, they check cones. The only cones were those towers, so that didn't work. But then, they check the cones too. So, and then they find an underground cave with lots of stalactites. And that's what seems to be going on. They cut out, but then also remember this rule. It's three times as tall as its base is wide. So, they have to find this. D must 3D must be equal to its height. It has to be the height has to be three diameters. Or the height has to be equivalent to six radiuses. And they found one. So basically this guy became the new king of this place. And they called it Wait, we're not not that story yet. However, you do have to see that this is awesome. And so that is the end of today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of fun and learning. And we hope to see you guys in future episodes too. Until then, get hypnotized by these big blue beady cat eyes. See you guys soon. Not out. Peace.